It's not very often I cover an MMORPG where you can simultaneously hear that the game is great or perfect and that the game is pay to win or too grindy. Whatever your opinion is, it's easy to see that Black Desert Online is a controversial title. Most of these issues surrounding the company, Pearl Abyss, who develops in Kakao Games who publishes Black Desert Online and their aggressive monetizations. If you have no idea who I am, I am a YouTuber who fancies himself an investigative journalist. I focus primarily on MMOs and the reasons they fail or succeed. I love a high skill ceiling MMORPG, especially one focused on Twitch slash action combat. And at first glance it could seem like Black Desert Online, or BDO, is the game for me. I often get asked why I don't play Black Desert Online. Since it's easier to just make a video about it than answer the same question over and over again, I will in my normal fashion break down why I don't play Black Desert Online. Before I answer that question, however, I want to talk about the things that Black Desert Online does well. Remember, this video is not made to sway anybody's opinion in any particular way, just outlining in detail why I don't play or enjoy the game. If you don't care about what's good about this game, feel free to skip ahead a little bit to the criticism portion. Now, while in a way the best quality of Black Desert Online has to be its visuals. Graphics, especially lighting and shadows, textures on armors, and really just period. But even things like animations and particle effects are particularly good looking in Black Desert Online. With the remaster just recently out, this has only really increased across the board. It just simply looks great, even if the Asian style MMO isn't necessarily your style. That being said, if I did have a criticism of the game's visuals, it would probably be that they're rather generic and lacking of the same identity titles like Warhammer Online, WoW, and Age of Conan had. Being a good looking MMO is often key in the Korean MMORPG market. Most of their top MMOs besides Anomaly Lineage are very focused on high graphical fidelity, such as Blade and Soul, Ion, and of course, BDO. Being a good looking MMORPG is a must in the Korean market, or at least it seems that way. Another way BDO appeals to its masses is its combat system. Black Desert Online boasts an action MMORPG combat system, which might not be a total action combat system, but it's pretty close. Black Desert Online certainly has some of the best gameplay on the market, it's faster paced and more active than most tab target MMOs, including the king of MMOs, World of Warcraft. Instead of focusing on the plethora of abilities, it focuses primarily on your left clicks, white swings or auto attacks, and special attacks with your right clicks. Directionally moving while attacking can provide different attacks, or in the case of walking backwards you can block. Other modifiers are Shift, Spacebar, and Tab. It's an intelligent design because they don't try and overwhelm people with abilities, especially when they are expensive to animate, so they focus on a few more focused abilities and a more fluid combat system than a typical tab target MMO would have. Because Black Desert Online plays more like an action game, you can combo abilities together in ways you just simply can't in other MMOs that don't also have action combat systems. So I've covered some positive aspects of Black Desert Online, aspects that most can probably agree on. But what are my issues with Black Desert Online and why don't I play the game? Now the elephant in the room with Black Desert Online is undoubtedly its business model. Black Desert Online is a buy to play game with a cash shop which is not entirely unheard of in the current marketplace. However with BDO, their developer Pearl Abyss along the way had promised the game wouldn't become pay to win in the west, and their publisher Kakao Games would often argue that Black Desert Online wasn't pay to win, despite a lot of people disagreeing. Now because Black Desert Online only costs $9, many people argue that if it requires you to purchase one or two microtransactions, it would still ultimately fall under that full box price of $60. That's obviously wrong, as in order to be efficient in BDO, you need 5 pets, because pets are essentially the most effective way of looting. But since they are capped in how much they can loot, having the max amount, which is 5, is the most efficient way for running NPC camp to NPC camp and grinding and leveling. Most people argue that the game is best played with a traveler's pack, which is $20, but you still need 4 more pets, which is another 40 bucks or so, for that added XP buff and extra auto looting power. So in total we've spent $9 on the game, $20 on the traveler's pack, 40 bucks or so on pets, so in total just about $70. And then you likely need a value pack again. Although the traveler's pack we bought has one, it expires in 30 days and it has essential things such as inventory space, storage expansion, experience, distant node investment, max weight limit, 30% bonus to marketplace sales, collection amount, unlimited use of Merce palette, unlimited use of the beauty salon. Pricing on this can vary, but it's basically a monthly fee of $15. All in all, you will spend at least $100 to be viable in Black Desert Online. Viable meaning you can play the game without any restrictions, and at least $15 a month for the value pack. 
If you want a costume to look good, which is by the way the only way you can effectively look good in the game, be prepared to spend as much as another $25, so make that $125. If you want to actually be competitive and feel like you can play a game at more than a casual level, you can reference this guide for how much money you actually have to spend in Black Desert Online. We are talking about a minimum of $200 if you want to get what you need to compete against other people. But it doesn't just stop there. If you keep spending more money, your progression and amount of money spent are a positive relationship. As you spend more money, your progression towards level 63 and beyond becomes much easier. Although one single item might not grant pay to win access in Black Desert Online, the obvious business focus on making people spend money on the cash shop says that the game isn't really a buy to play game. It's a buy to play game with essentially the equivalent of a microtransaction monthly fee. Except instead of just $15 a month, it can be far, far more depending on the type of whale or the aspirations of the player. If you want to be competitive in a game that the end game is based around PvP, you're going to have to spend money or prepare to be killed over and over again. Yep, that's right, in Black Desert Online, PvP at max level is non-consensual, meaning you are permanently flagged. Permanently flagged in a game where spending money can help your PvP progression. That's just a recipe for a whole lot of frustration. Something I would rather not subject myself to as well. If I want to play a game for its open world PvP, I'm not going to want it to be centered around a pay to progress model. Especially considering there's basically no customization past costumes which are obviously bought from the store. Before you even get into the game itself, you have a reason to not want to play the game. To not support the publisher Kakao Games and their constant microtransactions. And since they have been routinely downplaying what they do, all the while increasing monetization. I wouldn't support BDO simply based on this aspect alone. But let's pretend I could get over that. What's my other big issue in BDO? My other particularly point of distaste in Black Desert Online is surrounding its combat system. I know, it's a bit weird, I was just talking about how it's good. But I mean good in terms of relative to other tab target MMOs. But in regards to other MMOs that I know, does Black Desert Online definitively have the best combat? I don't think so. And it's frustrating that Black Desert Online fans seem to be so ignorant and that they don't know other action MMOs exist, ones with far more complex aiming and action combat systems than Black Desert Online could even dream of. So Black Desert Online is considered an action MMORPG, but what is the action game genre anyway? Prominent action games like Jedi Academy, Mountain Blade, God of War, and Chivalry Medieval Warfare are all known for their particular brands of action combat. They all typically feature physics-based engines, engines that have in some cases require them to be pixel perfect to land a melee swing, whether through projectiles, momentum, and usually an attack and block system to complement. Action games, despite the way they look, can have a surprising amount of depth. In Black Desert Online, like most other games labeled action MMORPG, they do not use a full physics-based engine. This is because they A, do not make you truly aim your ranged abilities, you have blatant aim assist and then a soft target buffer that allows you to land when you aimed a little bit off target. B, because projectiles aren't actually projectiles. They're not objects that are aimed like a fireball or an arrow. There is less chance to miss and dodge or demonstrate skill. This takes out the element of using your terrain to great length. Momentum isn't nearly as important, whereas momentum in most action games is a key element to extending ranged attacks or setting up combos. And as a bonus one, for an Asian MMO, Black Desert Online doesn't really do a good job with aerial combat. There's next to no comboing in the air, which means that Blade and Soul is kind of better at comboing than Black Desert Online is. So Black Desert Online does force you technically to aim in order to hit your target, it's just that their definition of aim is different than the FPS or the action genre typically. Not to mention, to complement this, like other action MMOs, they add invincibility frames and a boatload of dashes. I mean, you can search a BDO PvP video on YouTube and see like a hundred dashes in a minute. Those exist because you can't actually block parry properly or dodge projectiles as effectively. Think about a game like Mountain Blade. It has a very simple looking but complex combat system. You can block as well as parry, dodge, and attack. You don't need a hundred dashes because in order to hit your opponent and them to hit you, they have to be pretty damn accurate. And that requires you to be in the correct positioning. They don't get a soft hitbox. If their weapon doesn't collide with you, they don't hit you. They use a hard hitbox. Now sure, different games in different worlds, but why does a game like Black Desert Online need so many dashes? There aren't many complex action games you can just spam one movement option, and it will work out for you in a competitive environment. That's like imagine playing Quake, except the only thing you do to move is jump up and down. There's a lot more complexity in a game like that. 
But in Black Desert Online, because it doesn't have that same engine, it lacks a lot of that complexity. Think about it, because everyone in Black Desert Online can dash quite easily, it limits the flow of the game. If everyone is zipping around at light speed, you don't have the same variety. Now I assume I will have some Black Desert Online fans telling me about how if I don't spend $200 and 500 hours, I can't talk about Black Desert Online's combat and its complexity. And maybe if I was claiming to be an expert on it, I could see their point, but I'm not. I'm just saying that in relation to other action games and MMORPGs, I don't think it's clear in a way the best combat. In fact, I think its combat in relation to its other competitors is pretty much samey. Terra, Guild Wars 2, Elder Scrolls Online, and even Vindictus have very similar combat systems. But what combat systems do I think are better than Black Desert Online's, and why? Well, the first one that comes to mind that's most related to a medieval fantasy game like Black Desert Online is Darkfall Online. This is a game I have covered on my Death of a Game series. Darkfall had what I would describe as a full physics-based combat system, meaning if you were off a pixel when you shot an ability, you missed unless the ability had AoE. The game played like Quake the MMORPG, but unfortunately, that was the defining aspect of the game and it had a plethora of other issues. Still, it proved you could do action combat, think Morrowind or Oblivion style, and do it in an MMO at a massive scale. If a tiny company from Greece could do it, why haven't other game developers done it? Well, I don't really know exactly. Obviously, it could be costs, it could be netcode, and it also is probably because MMO fans are kind of used to shitty combat, and so they don't really know what to expect at this point, except the same old, same old. And frankly speaking, I'm tired of the same old, same old. It's just a bit comical when people want to tell me about how intricate Black Desert Online and how great it is as a combat system when they've never even played or heard of Darkfall Online, which has a much more responsive combat system. Darkfall solves the previous issues that I mentioned with Black Desert Online in the sense that it has projectiles as well as hitscan abilities, you have to aim your melee swings, and being behind someone gave you extra damage, so positioning is super important. Everything in the game was aimed, from heals to buffs to damage spells. That's what an action MMO, whenever I picture it in my mind, manifests to me. Black Desert Online doesn't have that same complexity or visceralness, and that's important for me in an MMO that focuses on PvP. There's a couple other games that you can look at for good combat systems, a couple of them that I have covered before on my series, such as Firefall and Global Agenda. Global Agenda was especially cool because it required you to aim even as a healer. Now TLDR, I don't think Black Desert Online's combat system has enough depth in it, and I think it's inferior to previous MMORPGs in specific regards. The fact that the game is so based also behind a grind and money wall, it just makes its competitive edge even less competitive since it's ultimately more of a battle of credit cards and not for skill pound for pound. My final reason for not enjoying Black Desert Online has certainly been the busy work in the game. To those unaware, Asian-style MMOs, which have been launching since the late 1990s and early 2000s, have nearly always focused on more grind-centric gameplay. The most popular MMO ever was Lineage, and Lineage is a Korean title that had an insane level of grind in it. In Korea, this is sort of more so the norm, Western players are typically less likely to grind in an MMO. And by grind, I mean by the MMO bro definition, which is kill monsters over and over to level. Grind in the Western world is typically something we associate with a game that lacks content or good questing. But when titles like Arc Age and Black Desert Online hit the Western market, they expose the audience to a business model and game model most weren't familiar with. A model that focuses on rinse and repeat dailies and grind sessions. The result? Well, despite the poor reviews, Arc Age and Black Desert Online have made the companies a boatload of money. And based on my prior studies of both of these games, they don't really focus on the Western audience for anything more than extra cash. And, well, it's working in the West. That's why these games, when they launch, promise not to be pay to win, and then quickly renege on whatever promise they say because they want to increase their return. Anyway, this is all related to my final point regarding Black Desert Online, and that's in regards to the kinds of content there is in the game. Progression in Black Desert Online is synonymous with grind. You will find yourself pulling a whole camp of mobs and wiping them, only to repeat the process over and over and over, as questing offers far less experience and isn't any more fun or inventive. And that's sort of the gameplay loop in Black Desert Online. It doesn't really have a big raid focus, so people keep progressing by grinding, and they can keep progressing because there isn't an experience cap. Last I heard, the highest ranked player was between 63 and 65, which would take you four months of playing basically 64 hours a week with all proper XP boosts, pets, and etc. As you level, you get more skill points, better combat stats, and most importantly, money. 
Yep, most people level and grind just simply to afford the cost of their gear, characters, and because the enjoyment, really. Rinse and repeat. In a nutshell, that's the game. If you find that feedback loop fun, and the gameplay fun, by all means, Black Desert Online is the perfect game for you. It implements that treadmill we call life, except it's not life. It's kind of busy work the MMORPG. I don't particularly find endless grinding fun, especially if the main idea behind endless grinding is to get to in-game PvP, which is dominated by those who endlessly grind the most. Not to mention, I'm not really involved in the world at all, the lore is non-existent. In the end, I think to myself, why am I even grinding? Do I really enjoy the combat that much? Well, as I explained, no. No thanks Black Desert Online. Thanks for watching, guys.